The Cumbrian Way is a linear, 70 mile long distance footpath in Cumbria, England. The majority of the route is inside the boundaries of the Lake District National Park, linking the two historic Cumbrian towns of Ulverston and Carlisle. It passes through the towns of Coniston and Keswick. The route cuts through the Lakeland country via Coniston Water, Langdale, Borrowdale, Darwin Water, Skidoo Forest and Colbeck. It's primarily a low level route with some high level exposed sections. So sit back, grab yourself a beer, a wine or a voddy and come along with me on our journey of fun, discovery and adventure. to the channel um, yeah as you heard in the introduction I'm out, out here on the uh, Cumbrian way I've just set off leaving Overston beautiful beautiful day got the lighthouse in the back there if you can see it uh, yeah so I've just been into Overston as I say so yeah um, today I'm gonna walk from Overston to a place called Beacon Town. I love the relevance with the Beacon bit because I used to live at Beacon Lodge and then obviously we've got Beacon Fell in the Preston area. But anyway, you know, so yeah, I'm out here today to walk. It's about seven miles from Wolverston and then I'll camp over doing a wild camp and then walk into Coniston tomorrow. So that's the first part of the Cumbrian Way.
I was just uh, walking through this field and I stopped I thought which way do you go and I turned round and there was a gate there which way you go through I was lucky with that because I had to walk right past anyway we're cracking on we're about two mile in doing all right I'll uh, update you in a bit so the Molly, 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 Alright people, I've not done much filming because it's been quite windy so it would have been uh, sounding terrible. Uh, we're cracking on, we're doing well, we're about two and a half mile in. Uh, like I said, the idea tonight is to do some wild camping. Um, hang on. You just see a old man of Coniston in the background there. Looking lovely. Anyway, so the idea is to do some wild camping. If you're not sure what wild camping means, it's basically putting a tent up pretty much in the middle of anywhere. But the thing is, it's illegal in Britain, in England, typical, isn't it? Bloody monarchy. All them people worshipping that king, and all they do is take your land and not allow you to do out on it. Shocking. Anyway, enough of that. So yeah, the idea of uh, wild camping is to uh, put your tent up late and get off early and leave no trace. So basically nobody knows you've been there, you've not done any damage. Um, you, you, you can't just do it anywhere, you need to be higher up on, on ground. Uh, in the wild camp up at the uh, Deacon Tarn, it's a little tarn, a little lake up, up on the fells. Um, I'm going to put my tent up there. Uh, probably put me I should get there about eight o'clock so that's plenty plenty late enough get up around five six get sent down and crack on so that's the idea with wild camping Probably made in York, steak strips, beef jerky. All right, people. Well, I'm getting there. Uh, a little bit harder than I thought, but I'm plugging on. Probably about three miles to go where I want to keep. Um, yeah, it's been hard, but I'm keep going. Right, people, I've not really been in mood for filming much this uh, this walk. It's been um, head down, just get on with it. Uh, so I'll bring you more when I get to the camp. But it's been um, it's been exciting. I'll keep going. See you in a bit. I've never wanted a pub in my life. Just sit in a pub and have a pint, man. Ooh, it's not good. I'm drinking pints tonight, Martha. You can just see Coniston there in the distance. And then the big peaky one there is Old Man of Coniston. Beautiful.
morning guys yeah good morning let me wake up and i'll fill you in what went on yesterday because i didn't really get a chance to do much filming so yeah day two of the cumbrian way overston to coniston Aye, so yesterday well well it started um with the train being delayed two hours so that really put me back so i went into when i got into Orbiston, i went for some dinner at the rose and crown pub absolutely fantastic couple of pints so it was three o'clock but time has set off now i kind of underestimated the length to get to the pitch that i wanted up on the beacon time um so i'd, I'd done eight miles and it was the sun was setting it was light was disappearing so i had to find a pitch i weren't going to make it up to the time i would have done obviously with the two hours but it is what it is so i kind of uh went off path um off track i was still on a walking track but not the cumbria way and i looked around and my head went and i thought nah, i need to get a pitch anyway i looked i looked up and i seen this kind of old building um and a little little flat top of the hill uh, so i had a walk up there and it, it was ideal the only thing is the the farmer's um residence is over there so he he will be able, probably be able to see me so i need to get off early i don't want to upset anyone but uh, as long as you leave no trace i've not done any damage uh there's no sheep in the area so it should be good um so that's what happened yesterday it was a bit it's a bit weird uh my head started to go when it was starting to get dark and i thought i need to find somewhere to, to to pitch i thought you know there's nothing around there's no you can't just bail on these kind of things you've just got to keep your head together uh and anyway it all fell in place uh, like i say unfortunately i didn't get to the time i will get up there uh, early this morning so i'll show you the time um probably go for a dip in that yeah you know it makes sense just the other thing as well uh, i messed up with my water um i've got a water filter this time so you can actually fill your bottle from a stream or a, uh, a lake um, and pour it through the filter straw and it's um, perfectly fine drinking water now. And I, I, I passed a couple of becks earlier on uh, and I should have filled my bottles up. Um, there is a, there is a beck just down here, and I was going to use that, but by the time I got my tent up, it had gone dark, so I, I didn't want to get my headlight flashlight on. And you start walking around in dark, so I have literally no water, so I couldn't make a brew. I couldn't make I couldn't make my tea, uh, and I'm thirsty. So first things this morning is to find a water source and get them bottles filled up, get them filtered, and get them filled up some water in me because i'm feeling a bit dehydrated what i'll probably do as well is um when i get to the uh to the town i'll probably make me make me make me tea and a nice coffee um and then from there it's a walk downhill down to the shores of coniston and you walk, and a lovely walk along the banks of coniston into coniston town uh get some dinner there and then it's a bus back to wimble to wimbledon Wimbledon, 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 coming a wee. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't start at this time of morning, Craig. You know. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, back to Windermere from Coniston. And then oh, I think the train's about 8 o'clock tonight. It's at 7 tonight. Get me back yeah, to Preston Train. Too bad. Plenty. I've got all the easy make it. Better not be fucking cancelled neither. Have a hard time believing. I'm stuck in repeating, repeating. Now it's time to break away, cause I'm caught up in the haze and need to find an escape. Yeah, I've been. Is for someone to shape me away. Cause I'm 
Well, people, we're uh, we're at Bacon Tarn. Just had some dinner, making and a nice coffee. Um, I'm gonna head on over the top here, uh, back down into Coniston next. Um, my knees give me a bit of jip. Um, I'll see how how this last bit of walk is. Uh, I might finish the last bit on the uh, steamer. It's only it's only about a mile, so I might jump on the steamer just for something different. We'll see how we feel. But world's been oyster. But I am definitely, definitely, without a question of a doubt, getting a beer. Cheers, people. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world.